Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous sync system to the HP PhotoSmart 5510 or the B111 series. So this one's a B111A, uh, but the fit method is the same for all other B111 printers. So we need to fit some silicon seals on the print head itself. So I've got the print head in the ink cartridge change position. Now within your accessory pack you have some silicon seals which look like this. These need to be placed on the print head. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, one around each of the nozzles. So I'll do a zoom in when I finish. Uh, the purpose of the silicon seals is to get uh, an airtight seal around the bottom of the cartridge, which will stop air getting in when it's not supposed to and stop ink getting out when it's not supposed to. So it's a small part, but it does play quite an important role. So they are shaped as well, so they will actually only go on uh, one way. So it would be very clear for you to see uh, if, if it's all wrong. So please don't, please try not to touch the, the metal nozzles because this is actually the area where the ink will be coming uh, out of the cartridge into the printer. So you don't want to, to damage them. So let me just... Yeah, so I'm going to do a zoom in shot now, so as you can see the silicon seals are sat on top of the print head. Uh, so I'm going to install the SIS system now. Uh, I'm going to place the SIS system over on the right hand side. Now before you install any SIS system, uh, you need to check if it's, if it's got a roller on the side, that should always be in the lockdown position for now, so please check that. Also, uh, for any air, you need to check for air in the ink lines. Uh, if you've got more than about four inches of air in, in your ink lines, you will have to remove it, the air. Because if you don't remove the air, it will travel to the back compartment of the cartridge and stop it from filling up. So please check that. We have our other videos which show you how to fill and prime the, uh, the air out of the cartridges. It should be supplied with your kit. So we can install the SIS system now, uh, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is power the printer off first at the wall, so it's just gone off on the display, and remove the orange cap. So please keep the orange caps because we, we don't generally keep these as spares. Now if you ever have to prime the system again in the future, you will need the orange caps to go back on. So just flip them over, put them in just like a normal set of cartridges. Now within your accessory pack, <coughs> There will also be a grey arm. You need to remove the green backing tape from, there will be two pieces on yours. And affix the grey arm over here, just stuck to my finger, but over here in the middle with the second piece of tape up towards the edge and then slide the print head over and out of the way. So we need to fix this ink line now. So if you, if you twist your ink line round and what you're looking for, is that you've got a nice straight loop coming straight off the top of the cartridges and lay it down on the grey arm. Also within your accessory pack or attached to the grey arm already you will have to take it off uh, is this clip. So the clip actually goes in one side and then into another just push down and that will actually secure the ink line. So to check the manual adjustment of the ink line you need to slide the print head all the way over to the left and it should be a little bit tight. If it's too loose what can happen is if it's too tight it can't go any further so it needs to be able to go all the way over to the left hand side so I'm going to pull some incline through uh, it still still can't reach pull, I'll pull too much now so you can hear it hitting the side of the printer but that loops far too big so you need to take some slack out shouldn't be too tight because what will happen if it's too tight it'll bend down virtually up and double back on itself too much there and it could wear away after time so it should be a little bit loose which will create uh, a gentle bend off the top of the clamp there right so I'm quite happy with that just put that backwards and forwards a couple of times make sure no twisting no kinking and that runs okay also part way down the ink line is another clip you need to remove the green backing tape and then just fix that clip into position uh, and that's that part done. So I'm going to power the printer on now, but before you power it on, you need to put the roller in the up position <coughs> and remove 
the four small flat plugs and power it on. So while it's doing that, uh, while it's going to, while it's powering up, it's going to want to run through a head cleaning cycle. So I'm going to fit the air filters while we're waiting. So within your accessory pack, you have these air filters. They will get inserted into the small holes. Now they have a narrow pointed end uh, and a short stubby fat end. They should be inserted with a narrow pointed end facing upwards. I'm just going to pop the continuous ink system to the right hand side of the printer. So the continuous ink system must be sat at the same level as the base of the printer. Uh, if, it, if it's raised any higher it will flood it so please only keep it on the same level as the base of the printer. So the, at the moment it's recognising on the display the ink cartridge access door is open. Within your accessory pack you have a spare plug like this so just take the plug pop it into pop it into the hole and spin it round and that's it it's installed so this printer hasn't been used for over five months so I'm going to run uh, one head clean on it because uh, I know it, it's been that long since I've used it, it, it it's it will need at least one uh, because it's been so long. So it's not connected to uh, a printer. No, it's not connected to a computer. This printer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my mouse mat, pop it under the lid, and we'll use that to run a couple of sample prints off. So I'll do a couple of uh, couple of copies, and we'll do some with the lid open, just so you can see how it works, and some with the lid closed. model uh, it's very it's quite straightforward to do it only takes about 10 minutes to fit this system uh, just follow this video guide uh, also you notice it did come with the chips on already so our systems are coming with the chips on already so yeah we're about there on the uh, nozzle check sheet so I'm going to do uh, a couple of copies uh, let's just copy uh... so it's going to scan the document that's under the lid let's just have a look so, uh, copy colour Two copies start. So it's just scanning the document under the lid now. Uh, so that's how it works with the printer lid open. And with the printer lid closed, I'll leave it closed for the next shot. And that is how you fit the continuous ink system to the HP uh, the 5510 or the B111 series printers from City Ink Express. Thank you.